What up, everyone? Continuing with the boxes of May and trying to catch up. Got lots of boxes to do. Here we got Lutaku. And this was an assemble theme, which I'm glad I got because I'll recognize, hopefully, a lot of the items, or at least the characters. So I'm pretty excited for this box. And this is a box that I've really come to like um, over time. I'm just realizing that I like the bigger boxes. I like that they offer bigger items. I don't know, I just, I like the bigger boxes. They're more exciting. So, let's take a look at this one and see what we got. Oh yeah, so I recognize this right off the bat. And, okay, so this figure, uh, this is Ultron, which I've never seen before, but I recognize the series right away. And they, um, they're called Hero Remix. They're from a company called Dragon, which I'm now realizing is an Asian company. Um, I did not realize that before. But they came out with the Avengers. They came out with an Avengers series where they had Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and the Hulkbuster. And I really liked them. I really wanted to get them. I saw them on another channel because I liked the style of them. I liked the size. I thought they were really cool. But they were just really expensive. Um, the cheaper, The small ones were like... 35 to 40 and the Hulkbuster and Hulk were like 50 to 60 dollars so they're pretty pricey so I really like this style so I'm uh, I'm guessing they made a second series and I'm assuming with the characters they have on the box so it looks like Ultron, Vision, um, who else? Uh, Black Widow, Loki, and Hawkeye so I'm assuming that's the, oh yeah right there I'm assuming that's the series they got and he looks pretty cool. I like the style of them. These are bobbleheads, which normally I'm not a fan of. Um, I don't really see the point of making them bobbleheads, but the with Marvel characters, most of the time people have to due to licensing agreements. That because I believe Kenner still owns the original um, licensing for Marvel action figures and toys, so they kind of have to make them bobblehead, which I get. That's why Funko makes all their Marvel stuff bobblehead. So you know it is what it is, but it's still really cool, and you can't really see in there. There's a base in there and it has the Avengers symbol. So that's really awesome. I like that. I wonder if they gave different options or anything like that. But I really like this series and I'm happy that I have one. And I do really want to go back and get the Hulkbuster because he looks really cool. Next, got a little Dorbs. We got Groot, who I actually didn't have, who I actually wanted to get. Um, I've always avoided getting common Funko stuff because they always end up showing up in boxes uh, sooner or later. So I really like this one. I, I, I mean, not Dorbs. I, Mopey, sorry. Got the series confused. These are Mopies, the plush ones. Anyway, uh, I like this series. Um, I think they're really cool. And I never buy them because they, they show up in boxes all the time. So I like group. That's cool. That'll do. And it looks like our other big ticket item in here. Looks like a handcrafted, hand-painted, molded mug. Because that's the title. Very long title. And it just looks like the hand of Thanos. So this is something we've seen in different iterations before. Um, I have a bottle opener magnet that's Thanos' hand, and I think there was a glove that showed up once like that. Where's my knife? So let's take a look at this mug and see how good the quality is. Oh, and this says that this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive. It has a little sticker on there. That's cool. Exclusive stuff. <clears throat> Alrighty. So it looks pretty good. I mean, quality wise, that's cool. So the cool thing is the 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 glove part actually comes out and covers the little handle, so when you have your hand in there, it actually does look like your hand. So that's pretty cool. You know, detail-wise, it's, it's okay. I mean, not super detailed, but you know, it's a mug. that Mugs don't get that detailed, especially when they're ceramic. It's really hard to give them detail, but that's really cool. I think lots of people would like that. Seems very enjoyable. All right. That'll do. I like it. All right. What else do we got? So the next two items in here are pretty common, uh, at least to the U.S., maybe not so much in Hong Kong or Asia or anywhere, but we got one of the Civil War, uh, Marvel Civil War uh, mystery minis, so very common for us, not so much in Asia, so they probably would enjoy this more than we would, but these are very common here, so no big deal. And the same thing with this one. We got a figural keychain, and these, I think that's the name they go by. These have been around for actually a pretty long time. Um... But uh, they've recently gotten popular, and I think the, the name for them is Figural Keychain, Collector's Key Rings, but yeah, I think that's what they're being called. I like them, but uh, I have I got a couple of them. I collected a series way back when they had the Ninja Turtles. I got those ones, the whole series. So I actually want to see which figure I got, because this one actually has Venom and Hulkbuster and Deadpool in it, so this seems like a good series. See who I got. 
And I got Iron Fist. So he's a cool character. I don't mind him at all. He looks pretty awesome. There's Iron Fist. Yeah. So the detail on these, they always smell nice too. They smell like fresh plastic. Or rubber. Yeah. So the detail on these is, is like, okay, but it's meant to be like simplistic, and they always have that round head and body. They're a little difficult to display though, because they never come with bases, so they're more for keychain purposes. And I don't have my keys on me, but I have a keychain that's Deadpool, pretty similar to this one. So I think they're pretty cool. I do want the Hulkbuster in Deadpool though, and Venom. So, yeah, I like that. I like that series. I just haven't gone out of my way to collect those because it's just one more series that I just haven't had time for. But they do have really cool stuff, and I honestly really like them. And while we're here, I might as well see which figure I got from Civil War because there's, like, no resale value on these, so I might as well. I don't know if there's any particular ones that I wanted. I didn't collect any from the series. Black Panther looks pretty cool. But uh, like I said before, these are bobblehead as well because all Funko Marvel products have to be bobblehead. Same with Star Wars. So let's see who we got. And we got Captain America. So that's a cool figure. He's not super amazing or anything. I've never been a fan of this style of mystery minis that are the bobblehead. But they, they still look good. I still enjoy them. So I think that's pretty cool. There we go. And looks like we got one more thing in here. Nope. This is the card that explains everything. So that was all the items in the box. So I, I think that's pretty cool. So I will do take a little break and I'll do some research and then we'll come back and talk about some value. See you soon. All right, we are back. So let's talk about some value on this box. To do, first, our Hero Remix Ultron figure. Everyone did get Ultron, which is probably a good thing because the they did a series too, but not the most popular characters from that series. It's kind of all the secondary characters from that movie. So. And some of them turned out good, like Ultron, but some of them turned out weird. And same with the first series. Sometimes they do good with the figures, and sometimes they're awkward. Like, uh, Vision looks really awkward. He looks very uncomfortable. Didn't do a good job on him. But I do like Ultron. Same with the first series. Some of them look really cool. Some of them just look weird. But anyway, the value on that is right about $35. So that's what it costs here in the U.S. It's from... Um, Asia, Japan, I'm not sure specifically where, so it's a little cheaper for them, because they actually do, they're nice enough to give values on there, um, they're pretty close with their valuation, but they're not super spot on, because they are valuing, valuing it for the Asian market, and not necessarily for the American market, so for us, it's going to cost about $35, give or take, then, our Thanos mug, this is going to be about 15 to 20 and it would seem like it might be a little bit more because it is an exclusive and it is like it says in there like hand sculpted painted all that stuff which is really cool but at the end of the day it is just a mug it's a mug of Thanos' hand so I can't imagine there being a, a large uh, market for that I can't imagine a ton of people wanting that so the value didn't go up that much because of that so 15 to 20 reasonable then our little Mopies figure these go about 8 to 10, depending on where you buy them from. Um, you had the option of getting a bunch of different ones. They have a whole list here. Um, There's like 10 different ones you could have gotten. They were all the common Marvel characters. So I'm glad I got Groot. I'm happy with that. So there we go. Then, our mystery minis figure. These are 6 bucks. Um, they can get more expensive depending on where you go, but you really shouldn't be paying more for 6 bucks if they don't have any exclusives on the back. So $6 on that. Then, our figural keychain. This is right about five. Same thing. Like Hot Topic and stuff charges more for them, but it, it really shouldn't be much more than that. I've gotten them at Target before for right around five bucks, so that's right around what that cost. And that was all the items in there. So on the low end, that brings our value of 71, and on the high end, 76. And their value actually wasn't that far off from it. Um, their value, they valued this at 79 dollars, so pretty pretty close, honestly. Um, but the only problem with that is, since it's a foreign box, we do get kind of screwed on shipping charges. And that's always the problem with foreign boxes. A ton of money goes into the shipping. Especially a big box like this, because it is very large. So it's extremely expensive. So to get this box in America, it does cost $65. So, very, very expensive, and that's mostly because of import fees and shipping charges. Now, with even with their $79 value, or my $71 to $76, really not getting much more than you paid for after all is said and done. With their $79 when you're only getting like $14 more than you paid for when you're spending uh, $65, so it's only like maybe 20% more than you paid for. So they, 
they're kind of walking the thin line there, uh, value-wise. Um, but the good thing is that they do add things that you don't really get, that aren't common items. So, the smaller items were common, but I still like them. I still think they were good choices, and it fit in the theme. But I do like that they add things that are not here in America, like this Hero Remix figure. And it's a bigger figure, so I do really like that, because that's something different. That's what I would hope for from this company. Not stuff we get here in America, stuff that we can only get overseas that we have to get shipped here so that's what makes it cool and it's stuff that most people really haven't seen before so I like that and again bigger figures that's what foreign boxes usually do bigger figures slash statues which I really like as well so I like that and the mug um, although it's from here it was ex exclusive so that's cool too so um, last month we got more stuff from Japan Hong Kong area and this month we got more stuff from America so I would hope that we get more of the Asian culture stuff and less of the American stuff, but I understand why they do that because this American stuff is probably really popular over there. So that's why their value is a little bit higher because it costs more there. So that all being said, um, since the value wasn't very high, it is going to affect the rating. Um, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 because you did get more than you paid for, and I legitimately did like everything in this box, and I think other people would too. You got two mystery, uh, a bag in a box of good stuff. Uh, Mopey's figure, which I like, and then two bigger items that are hard to find and a little bit rarer and hold some value and have some decent quality. So that's where it the, gets the rating from. It's the quality and the rarity of a lot of these things. And the overall uh, of this box, this is one of the few boxes where I legitimately enjoyed everything in there. And again, the reason it didn't get higher was just because of the value. They did better on the value last month. The value was much, much higher last month. So I'm not sure why the value dipped down, but maybe... I, th I would assume that's because they're getting products from America, so they have to get it shipped there, and they ship it back to us, so there's tons of money just wasted in shipping to, to and fro. So that's why I would hope that there's more things from Asia that they don't have to pay shipping to get there, so they can put more money into the box. That's what I'd hope for. But I still really like this box. Like I said, I like bigger boxes. I like getting variety and rare items, so I still really enjoy it. But let me know what you guys thought about the box, and whether you'd like to try it out, and uh, we'll see what it has next month. I, I still am very excited to get this box. I think it's very enjoyable. So let me know what you thought. This has been Lutaku, 6 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace.